Hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, the second part of uh, Module 5.3, so um, uh, special parts or products of binomials, okay? This is the conjugate parts. Your book doesn't tell you that they're conjugates, but that's what they are. So you know, all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. All right, let's get started with uh, uh, an application problem. So a designer adds a border with uniform width uh, to a square rug, and the original side length of the rug is x minus 5 feet. Uh, the side length of the entire rug, including the original rug and the border, so the border goes all the way around the outside, is x plus 5 feet. So what is the area of the border? And evaluate um, uh, that area after we find that uh, when x equals 10. Okay, we did a problem like this in the last lesson, you guys. So so here's um, uh, the square rug inside of here right here, and then and then here's the the whole thing including the the border right here. So what we're looking for is this little area right here. What's the area of this? Okay. So the border has uh, uh, including the rug inside is x plus five, and the and the rug inside is um, x minus five. Okay. So the uh, the area of the border is the total area minus the area of the rug. Okay, so then uh, the total area is the x plus 5. x plus 5 times x plus 5, so base times height. And then the area of this rug is x minus 5 times x minus 5. So when we uh, FOIL that out, remember our rule is uh, we square that one, and then it's twice the product of these two guys for the middle ones. Remember that from the last lesson, you guys? It's 2 times the left one and the right one, and then plus the right one squared. And same with this one, except this is a minus. This sign carries right here. So the first one squared minus twice this one times this one, and then always plus. It's always plus at the end, right? here plus this last one squared okay so here's the total area here's the area of the rug all right we're going to fix that up clean that up and then we'll subtract them next okay so so there it is right there now let's distribute that negative through so the negative goes through it's going to make it a minus x squared make this a plus 10x and a minus 25 okay so x squared minus x squared are gone and then 25 minus 25 are gone so we're left with 10x plus 10x which is 20x okay all right so now let's evaluate the border when x equals 10 so we'll just plug in 10 right there and so 20 times 10 is 200. Always answer the question. So the area of the of the border is going to be 200 feet squared. Okay. So this border area is 200 feet squared. Okay. So let's um, uh, multiply um, uh, a plus b times a minus b. Okay. Let's foil this out. We're going to discover a new formula here. So first times first. Here we go. First times first is a squared. And then outer times outer so a times negative a b is negative a b right there and then inner times inner is plus a b now these are like terms these are both a b's right here but this one's minus and this one's plus so those are going to cancel so what we're left with you guys and then last times last you guys b times negative b is negative b squared so we're left with a squared minus b squared okay so when we had a plus b times a minus b the outers and inners canceled, you guys, and we're left with uh, a squared minus b squared, okay? It works the same if we do the x minus y first. See, here we did the a minus b. Let's do x minus y times x plus y. Let's foil those out, see if we get the same kind of pattern right there, okay? First times first is x squared. Outer times outer is plus xy. Inner times inner is a minus xy. And then finally, a negative y times a positive y is going to be a negative y squared. Okay, these outers and inners cancel each other. Okay, so we're left with x squared minus y squared. Okay, so that leads us to what's called a conjugate, you guys. A conjugate are the same binomials. See, here's a binomial x plus y, and the same, here's the same binomial x minus y. This is at a plus b, a minus b, except one of the binomials has a plus in it, and the other binomial has a minus in it, okay? This has a plus, this has a minus. And so if they're the same binomials, one with a plus and one with a minus, they're called conjugates of each other. And so when you mul multiply conjugates, the answer is always a difference of squares. Difference means minus sign, and that's a perfect square, and that's a perfect square. It's just the first one squared minus the second one squared, okay? All right. So here's our formulas, you guys. A plus B times A minus B is just A squared minus B squared. And it doesn't matter if we do A minus B times A plus B. 
it'll still be a squared minus b squared. So here's our formulas we're going to use when we have conjugates. Okay, so here's some conjugates. So we can FOIL it out. If you forget the, the rule, just FOIL it out, just like in the last lesson. Just FOIL it out. But your outers and inners will always cancel because we'll get a, a negative 6x, and here we'll get a positive 6x. Okay, so the, the shortcut, you guys, is right here. We just square the first one, square the second one, and put a subtraction sign in between them. So we're going to square this and square this and put a subtraction subtraction sign in between them, okay? And then just square, uh, uh, 6 squared is 36. Easy, huh? Okay, if they're conjugates, see how these are conjugates of each other? 7, x, 7 minus x, 7 plus x. Okay, so it's going to be the first one squared minus the second one squared. Okay, so 7 squared minus x squared, or 49 minus x squared. All right, let's just um, uh, put some letters with it, some more letters here. Okay, these are conjugates of each other, so it's going to be uh, x squared squared uh, minus, don't forget it's minus, minus the 2y squared, okay? And don't forget the 2's being squared also. So x squared squared, we multiply these exponents, so this will be x to the 4th. And then we got to square the 2 also, so 2 squared is 4, and then y squared is y squared, so we get uh, x to the 4th minus 4y squared there. Okay? All right, so uh, just summarizing, you guys, our special products, you guys, when we have A plus B quantity squared, when we have a binomial quantity squared, then it gives us A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Okay, so we square the first one, we square the last one, and the middle term is twice the product of them. Okay, same if there's a minus in between them. Okay, if there's a minus in between them, then it's A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. And this is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, when we get into the next module, I think it's the next module, when we start factoring, you guys, we're going to take this answer and go back to this answer right here. Okay, this is a perfect square. This is a perfect square. There's three terms in here, perfect square trinomial. Same with this, perfect square trinomial right here. So when we have a binomial squared, they give us perfect square trinomial answers. All right, and then when we have these conjugate tricks right here, the answer is a difference of two squares. So square the first one, square the second one, and put a minus sign in there. All right, whoops, I didn't do an extra page for that. That's all right. So here we go. Uh, what's the coefficient of the xy term in the product of um, 5x minus 3y squared? Okay. All right. So here it is. Here's our 5x minus 3y squared. So it's going to be a perfect square trinomial. So our middle term, the xy term, is going to have this negative 2 times the first term times the last term. So it's going to be negative 2 times the first term times the last term right there. That's what that's going to be, okay? So go ahead and multiply that out. Negative 2 times 5. Actually, multiply these two out. 5 times 3 is 15, and 15 times negative 2 is negative 30. Okay, or negative 10 right here times 3 is negative 30. Anyways, that's the coefficient right there. The coefficient is going to be negative 30. All right, you guys, if you are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.